Hello lovely peoples. Oh, okay, we've got another three jugger. <laughs> three jugger. That's it, that's the new name from three jugger. <laughs> um, this however is a pretty simple soap. I just wanted to do two plain layers and then in the middle I want to do an in the pot swirl. So very simple. Um, I'm going to be using apple and cinnamon. I oh god, I've been wanting to use this for so long. Um, this is another one from Aussie Soap Supplies, so I have not water discounted. And to be honest, I'm getting really sick of having to change things so that their fragrances work, which they do not because you've already seen this soap and you know that they don't work. Which, God Almighty, it's 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 a weird weird. It's just. I see now it's hard on top. <laughs> I don't know whether it's actually already gone through gel phase because it was liquid before. Now it feels like um, uh, tar on the road on a hot day. Not not quite sticky, but movable. <laughs> All right. So my idea was to do. Uh, two pastel green layers. Hang on, just give this a little mix. Uh, two pastel layers. This has no lie in it. I was just going to make the colour up first. Um, and then do maybe a, um, a, a white and a chocolatey kind of coloured uh, swirl in the middle to represent the cucumber, uh, no, the cinnamon because this is apple and cinnamon. I don't think I said that already, did I? Uh, yeah, so I'm just actually going to just dial back on that. Just put a little bit in. So I forgot to ask in the last video, how was everybody's Christmases? Oh, that's a bit hard. <laughs> I need to get all of this off because these are measured fairly precisely. So, but they are full. They are full liquid. So. I won't have lie heavy soap <laughs> regardless <laughs> especially not from this tiny little bit but yeah so yes how were your Christmases were they good mine wasn't bad surprisingly enough I spent it with my sister so <laughs> I'm not going whoops I'm not going to warm these up because I want to give the fragrance every opportunity to actually work considering how bad the last one went. This one will probably work so well I won't be able to do layers. You watch. You watch! It won't set up. <laughs> this this seems to be about right. Um, I don't need to mix that at any point. I just wanted to have these be the same colour, which I mean they're, they're fairly close. They're close enough anyway. Um, but yeah, all right, well, I'm going to, that one can go over there because we're not going to use that yet. Although that does seem like the looser of the two, so actually it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> all right, I'm going to go put some lye in this and then we'll come back. Okay, so because my mix is cool, now don't forget I also have goat's milk in these, which always makes them set up like this go really hard. Um, yeah, because of it, the lye doesn't actually mix in. It sits on top. So I have to now, now very, very, very carefully mix this so it starts heating up the batter and then the lye can incorporate and then I won't splash any on myself. Now I'm only just mixing in one spot because it doesn't really matter where I mix it. It's all going to mix through anyway. I'm just trying to get it so that, it, so that the lye is now no longer a splashable liquid. Um, I'm not being terrified of it, but I'm being cautious because it always pays when you work with something that is harmful to be cautious of it. You just don't need to be terrified of it. Of of it? Of of it. Yep, okay. Yep, making new words and stuff. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> you see how this is all starting to loosen up now and now there's no more of that straight... Um, uh, lie, la, 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 la. brain work with in conjunction with the mouth. Thanks, that'd be great. So yeah, so now it's soap batter. So I can sort of be a little more liberal with my 
dirty. And there you go. So that's that's if you ever soap cool and your your oils do this and you don't need to put them back in the microwave. It's 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 really unnecessary and it helps to soap extra cool if you do it this way. Like this is a little bit warmer than my hands, so not very warm at all. Which is great, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I don't have a mould. I've got everything all sorted except for the mould. Nobody's even got my... I even have my fragrance measured out. <laughs> I don't know. I can, I, can, I can blame the anemia, I can blame a whole range of things, but I just, that's just how I talk. I am William Shatner. I'm fat enough. And I say that with love because I love Bill. So I think he's pretty awesome. <laughs> so he's an odd dude, but you can't help but not love the Shat. So yes, this is very, very full. So I don't know. <laughs> Tiny little bloody container. I'm taking this out because I don't know how the fragrance is going to behave. If it thickens really quickly, we're not going to need to stick blend it. But it may do weird shit like that thing over there. Um, it says, um, from the, see I have everything printed out from since before the Oz, Aussie supply, soap supplies website went down when they had their fire. It says our apple and cinnamon fragrance oil is a light and delicious fruity blend of juicy red apple and light cinnamon notes with overload, without overloading the senses. The pleasing aroma has a touch of nutmeg and citrus top notes. It says in cold process this fragrance performs quite well. No discoloration and minor acceleration. Um, we recommend using 3.5 of the oil weight so I'm only using 3%. And it says there's no vanilla, uh, no vanilla content, but it discolors. So, if they would actually tell you the ethyl vanillin content, then that would explain why it discolors because ethyl vanillin will discolor as well. So, I don't, as a soaping company, I don't know why they don't list an ethyl vanillin. I don't even know why they don't mention it at all. And all ethyl vanillin is like <clears throat> all vanilla is made from vanillin, right? That is its active component. It's not a synthetic product. Vanillin is actually natural. It comes from vanilla. Um, it is vanilla. Um, ethyl vanillin is a synthetic product. It's a synthetic vanilla, and it's used in a lot of things because vanilla is expensive to make. So. And ethyl vanillin is completely safe. But anyway, it also behaves similarly to vanillin or vanilla. They're interchangeable, honestly. People need to understand this. Um, it will do the same, ethyl vanillin will do the same thing as vanillin. It will discolour your soaps. Now, this has cinnamon. This is cinnamony. More than any other fragrance, the cinnamon is the, is the top of this completely. You do get nutmeg. Oh, there's definitely nutmeg in there. There's not a lot of apple, honestly. There really is not a lot of apple in this. It's mostly, to me, it's just cinnamon. I don't get any citrus out of it whatsoever. But it's it's definitely it's not a fruity blend of anything. Yeah, no. To me, it's just very. It's a, it's a dark fragrance. It's it's a deep fragrance. It feels like more bottom notes than anything else. There's nothing flighty in it. Oh, did any of that make any sense? So it's behaving quite well. Um, I, that's not rice. That's just me being bubbly. Um, so yeah, it's actually it's it's moving, but it's not accelerating like crazy. Uh, there's no separation. So so far so good. Now I'm going to actually stick blend this because I'm doing a layered soap, I actually need it thicker. What did I say? <laughs> there you go. So even with a stick blend, that's not overly thick. Like it's thickening, but it's not... It is not unusable. So I would recommend this one for people. Like I absolutely refuse to recommend that melon buffet. 
buffet, as I was calling it, because I'm an idiot and I like to do that. You know, so Mrs. Bouquet. Although I imagine a lot of our American friends probably don't understand that because it's an English show. Although I don't know. I don't know what... I can't speak for anyone. I don't know what you've watched on telly or not. So I should shut up, hey? Alright. So yeah, as you can see, that's... And that's somewhat thick. And there is a little bit of separation going on there, I've noticed now. Uh, it's not too bad. It's kind of funny. I'm noticing with these fragrances, when you mix them by hand, they look alright, and then you give them a bit of a mix with a stick blender, and they separate, which is really odd, so I don't understand that at all. Okay. Now, what I was thinking, I don't know, I have... You know what, I'm going to do gold. I have some gold puffer here. So I'm going to puff that in there for a nice mica line. Now because I've done that, what's going to happen is that each successive layer after is actually going to have gold on the outside as well because it's now stuck to the inside of the uh, silicon mold. <laughs> Which, I mean, if it bothers you, you can always just plane it off. I mean, you could clean that out of there if you felt the necessity to do so. I do not, because I don't care. <laughs> it's going to come off in one wash anyway, honestly. Oh, there you go. That's a piece of, that's a piece of that, that melon buffet soap that I just found. It's actually, like, can you see this? It's, it's breakable. It's so hard. <laughs> That was one I will never use again, and the little bit that I have left in the bottle that will be going in the bin. I mean, there's not very much left in the bottle anyway. Uh, the bottles only hold 50 mil, and I use 30 grams, so you don't do mils in anything. Liquid measures and teaspoons and well not teaspoons sorry liquid measures and drops are the most unreliable way to measure anything as is imperial to be honest um, metric is by far the best way to measure things and yes with weight all right so number two now I can't mix any colors into this yet because I do want to separate this into two jugs and but I, it, there was no point separating into two jugs so anyway all right I'm gonna actually turn the video off because we're already at 15 minutes um, and then once I've got this all mixed up ready to go I'll come back okay so I've mixed this to emulsion made a mess cleaned it up <laughs> Uh, there's a few little bits on the outside, but that's okay. I'm not taking the stick blender out because I'm going to put white in this one. So, oh, hang on. Hang on. I spotted some fluff. I spotted some fluff. So, yeah. So, my Christmas day was pretty awesome, I must say. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, um, considering everything that's going on, I had a pretty good day. Um... <laughs> Even though Santa decided to gift me the gift of periods for Christmas. Thanks, Santa. I appreciate that shit. Not at all. Did I put the fragrance in there? I did. Oh, oh that's not even the right container anyway. Um, yeah, uh, the lady who lives with my dad. I can't say dad's girlfriend because that's not the relationship that they have. I don't even know that they're anything like that. Anyway... Her son is studying uh, philosophy. He was <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, he was studying IT. And then he changed to philosophy, which is, I mean, that's a story in itself, right? And um, it was really nice because I actually, because I like to talk about philosophy. Like I, you know, um, epistemology and 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 you know those sorts of things really interest me but 
as a general rule, I don't know anyone like in real life here to talk to with, so to talk to with, to talk with about these things. So it was, it was really fun, the small amount of talking we got to do because apparently his father has to be the center of attention and couldn't let poor Sean speak. So, oh my God, it was so dreadful. Poor old Sean would, get to, would, would go to say something because we were talking about things. Like I was asking him questions like, why had he changed? What, what did he have sort of like an epiphany to go from, you know, IT to philosophy and like what sort of, what was he looking to do in his future and you know stuff like that and every time he'd go to answer his father would go oh I just thought of something and it was just so frustrating I just it would just would have been nice to be able to talk to Sean a little bit more so but yeah all the nieces were there like all the nieces which was great that that sort of oh, fragrance yeah things that seem to be a little tense in Sheridan's family but you know like I can talk I've one. I've actually now got two sons that don't speak to me. One who I've just found actually lied about it, and Kurt, the troublemaker, is in jail. So there you go. Which I probably haven't told you guys about. Uh, yeah, the trouble that he got into last year. He was he was supposed to be doing some like community service. Didn't do it. They put a warrant out for his arrest. Found him and chucked him in jail. And now he may have to serve the rest of his sentence in jail. Which you know, I mean, he's my boy and I love him and I, and I feel sorry for him, but I also have absolutely no sympathy for him because if he had just done what he was supposed to do, he wouldn't be in jail. So, <sighs> hopefully he'll learn from this. They've allowed him to go on to his medication. <clears throat> he has um, BPD. So, Hopefully that will help. Now here you go. Here's a really interesting example of how colours can affect a fragrance. The white here, look at this, it's so fluid, it's beautiful. And the brown is very, very thick. So it's kind of odd, isn't it, how, how that happens. It just goes to show that you can never tell what a fragrance is going to do. Well, just soap in general, I obviously did not did not um, make enough sacrifices to the soap gods before I started today. I am terribly sorry, soap gods. Please don't punish me anymore. <laughs> now, I'm just doing a, a simple in-the-pot swirl. I um, am not saving back any of this because it's all going in here. Uh, and then that's it, yeah. So, yeah, so that was... And, yeah, my sister and I didn't fight. We actually got along... Um, had some interesting chats about things. Uh, we decided we were going to uh, educate the men on periods, and we actually did because um, Grant said, oh, I did not know that, and he's like 60. So <laughs> we did well. I'm just going to just give this a little bit of a mix, not much, because I don't want to pour this up from high, because I don't want to upset that layer. So that's it. That is it. And now I'm just going to just pour this in. And of course, the, the dark brown is going to look lumpy now. This actually has separated. So again, here's another one that actually does some separating. And I stick blended that. So actually, I didn't, did I? No, I did not stick blend it. So there you go. But yeah, so Kurt rang me from jail on Christmas Day. Well, that was lovely to talk to him because it's the first time I've spoken to him, you know, since he's been in there. He'd been in there at that point uh, two weeks, maybe three. I'm not entirely sure, if I'm going to be honest. Time tends to get away from me, so I can say two weeks and it will have been a month. Um, so I don't even know what day it is today, I think. It's Wednesday, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 30th of December. <laughs> I had to check. 
because it makes no difference to me what day it is anyway and this is also that week between Christmas and New Year's that's just weird anyway so again I'm just putting puffers on here but yeah it would have been really nice to talk to Sean some more like we were talking about we started talking about free will and um, and he brought up Sam Harris which was really interesting because unless you have an interest in, in um, philosophy you probably don't know who Sam Harris is um, uh, so I pointed him to uh, a couple of websites like Rationality Rules and uh, we will also have had a chat about Matt Dillahunty because I like Matt Dillahunty because Matt, while Matt seems to care more about people's feelings than I do, he also doesn't seem to give a shit about other people's feelings and he also cannot abide lying and stupidity so Matt and I agree on a lot of things we're both also atheists um, he calls himself a humanist whereas I don't have a, a label for where my philosophical beliefs lie I am not a determinist but I'm not not a determinist either um, I'm not sure about free will and I mean it's one of those things that it's one of those things that can't be proven so but anyway but yeah so <clears throat> anyway but it, yeah it was just really nice to be able to talk to someone about stuff like that all right well I'm gonna do the same thing you don't need to watch me mix the lie in this or anything so I'll just come back once this is all mixed and ready to go actually I came back anyway <laughs> um, no, I just want I was going to say that um, it was re actually really sad watching Sean's dad interrupt him constantly because you could see that Sean wanted to talk about it. And I imagine that outside of uni, he probably doesn't have a lot of people to talk to that understand. Um, so... I think it would. I, th you could, I could see on his face that he was really keen to chat because he found someone who would understand what he was talking about. But yeah, so I felt really bad for him because he's, you know, his dad was just being a bit of a dick about things. So I mean, we made a joke about it, but honestly, it was just a bit rude. Like let let the boy speak. I say boy, he's thirty. Um, no, just yeah. But anyway, so. But yeah, I mean, any, are there any of you out there who are who are interested in philosophy and and those sorts of things? Do any of you watch uh, like Matt Dillahunty on anything other than like the Atheist Experience or anything like that? Do you watch his channel and his debates? Um, what do you think of Sam Harris? What do you think of Jordan Peterson? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I love talking about stuff like that. Just. You know, I mean, there's so much to it, you know, and like all, all the all the fallacies and that, like, you know, straw mans and, and um, might makes right and just, you know, no true Scotsman and, and it's just all really just, it's all fascinating to me. So, although in all honesty, I've been watching a lot more Atheist Experience just because I just love, I honestly, I love that show just because it's nice to have it's nice to watch something where you know that the same that people I can't say hold the same beliefs because I mean being an atheist the whole point of being an atheist is you don't have belief and it's not it's not most atheists will tell you that it's not that they don't believe in God it's that they don't see enough evidence to believe. And like Matt says anyway, if even if there was a God of like like proper Christianity, Judaism, or whatever you want to call it, um, um, of the God from the Bible, from the you know the Old Testament, New Testament, even if that was true, why do you have to believe? 
and why would you want to believe so yeah, anyway I just find it all really fascinating <laughs> it's just me oh dear and I just like watching other people talk about it and I also like watching Matt hang up on people and I think we all like watching Matt hang up on people you'll find that a lot of people will ring into that show just to try and troll or you know whatever and inevitably because Matt's actually very very smart like you know this is not his first rodeo he's been studying this shit for like 20 years and the thing is he was religious he he says that he had what he thought were religious experiences when he was religious so it's not like he's not see for me I can say that I'm an atheist but it's easy for me to be an atheist because I have never been particularly religious I was not indoctrinated into religion and not believing doesn't alienate me from anybody it doesn't and and that's true generally in Australia like hang on sorry this wasn't actually supposed to be a rant about atheism now I just I would also like to say that I don't literally don't care what your religion is I don't care honestly if you are uh, Catholic, Christian, Muslim, Methodist, whatever all the other ones are, I don't care. It's the, your it's your personality, your your morals. They are what make you a good or a bad person, not what religion you are. So if you if anyone wants to come down into the comments and have a go at me for being an atheist, that's fine. You, I'll just delete you. That's fine. Unless you want to have a conversation about it which is a whole different thing but yeah I mean I, I judge people on how they behave not who they worship now I don't want to mix that too much because I want to have it reasonably pourable pourable <laughs> right, I'm sure, I'm, sure it's, I'm sure it's a word it is now I don't know it probably is you know now how's it going is it separating see it's beautiful and smooth you can see there it's beautiful and smooth right so I'm gonna pour this in and I reckon by the time we get to the bottom of the jug it's going to be well look we'll do it this way oh cuz I love watching that on other people's YouTube channels yeah see that see how it's now separating I don't understand that to be honest like why was it not separating and then it was separating it's very cinnamon and cinnamon -y. it's pretty much all it is it's just cinnamon and cinnamon -y -y. whoa okay <laughs> i'm not sure how many minimum minimums it's gonna have but yeah it's an it's an odd fragrance to do what it's doing But as predicted, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do, so... It's a little bit separate in there. God, you guys got heaps of that on camera. <laughs> so I'm way over here, and it's way over there! Oh, oh, that's just gross. <laughs> that did not come off. But yes, so anyway, I don't know what I was saying. I was having a rant about atheism again. I apologise. Um, I'm not trying to, to shove my beliefs because I don't have any down anyone's throat. I was just, you know, saying what I like to watch. And I like Matt Dillahunty. But anyway, yeah, so. But I also really enjoy philosophy and, you know, logical thinking and. And I, I don't see, I don't think that that's taught enough in any schools in any country. And um, I think if people would think more logically, things would be a lot different. Um, people don't apply enough skepticism. Like I had to deal with Dad saying that he didn't believe that we landed on the moon, and it's like, well. 
what's your proof? And he goes, oh, well, we've never been there again. And that's not proof. That just means we have not been there again. You know, it's like conspiracy theories are just annoying. I have indulged, don't get me wrong. There was a time when I said I didn't think the moon landing was real. Um, I feel like I know better now that I was just clinging on to that sort of that thing that everybody clings on to maybe just to fit in or I don't know maybe I was just feeling conspiratorial for a minute or something I don't know but I mean it's you know it's just like talking about chemtrails there's no such thing people they're contrails and stuff like that it's just you know or 5G or that vaccinations put chips in you because Bill Gates <laughs> It's just stupid. But, anyway, so that's our lovely cinnamon smelling soap. Um, I don't think I'll put any gold on the top, but I do have these amazing sprinkles. Thank you. From um, Get Sprinkled. So, I ate one of the alpaca before and they're fabulous. <laughs> So I thought these were these were nice colours. Let's put some on there, shall we? I'm trying really hard not to say so because I say so a lot, but it's not working. Oh, all right. Ooh, so pretty. I love silver balls. She'll grab these bigger ones because these ones are massive. Look at the size of these things. This is such a pretty mix, isn't it? I'm just going to just be a little bit more thoughtful with these things now just because there's corny on there. Those two together annoy me. Oh, here's a big white one. Let's put that one there. All right, let's get a couple of alpha. Now, these may melt. It is pretty hot, so my soap will heat up uh, I'm also haven't placed those oh no actually there you go I'm um, just gonna make sure I place them where they're not gonna get cut in half because they'll general generally <laughs> if you put some um, like sugar pearls and whatnot on your soap where they're gonna get cut they will pop off <laughs> like not pop off but you know they will pop off <laughs> there's a yellow one where can we put that one let's put that one there what else are we going to oh look at these bright pink ones these are nice this is such a pretty mix it really is it's such a happy mix don't you think like, I really find this just like really happy colours. It's more silver. There's no silver. There's no silver there. So let's put that down there. What we might do is we might just do a few more of these because I really like these. But like I said, I mean, it's not unknown for uh, sugar uh, toppings to melt on soap especially if your soap gels and considering what that one did it was so hot I couldn't touch the jug so it may that may be what happens yeah my, my not saying so is not going very well is it <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to put one of these on every soap Oops. Oh, one alright so let's put one there so, 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 there's one on that one, there's not one on this one, so let's go there, whoops, oh, he's a little, oh, no, 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 he's going to run into trouble, or oh, he's going to be trouble, you're going to be trouble, aren't you, Mr. Alpaca, I'd say llamas, but I like alpacas better, so they're alpacas, okay, well, he's going down there. He's been a bit contrary. This one can go here. So that one, that one, that one. And there's one more. And 
he can go over here as well. There you go. You pop in there. You push these balls in a little bit. That's rude. <laughs> it wasn't until I said it was rude, but whatever. Shut up. <laughs> So what other colours don't we have? Let's put another yellow one on there. Let's put that down here. Uh, we've got two blues. Do we have two greens? We do not. Let's put a green right there. What else we got? White. Let's do another white somewhere. Let's do a white uh, here. Uh, here. That one's going to have two big ones on it. That's fine. I mean, I'm not trying to make it even for anyone, so it's just going to be decorations. That's setting up quite fast, I'm noticing, because it's getting harder to push these into it. Yeah, definitely. A couple more of these little green ones, because they're just perfect. We need one of these to eat. Whoop. They're very nice. Oh, yum. Alright. I think that'll do, eh? And then it needs a bit of glitter, I think. So we'll do a... All the way up here, so some of it will land on there. And the fan will blow a lot of it away. And I'll breathe a lot of it in, because glitter lung <laughs> alright so there's our apple and cinnamon soap looks pretty awesome hey oh, look at that get in the right position and I will very slowly move that down for you because I know that I always do this too fast how cute are the alpaca oh there's a nice big gecko on the wall over there hey gecko I love geckos. Alright, so I'm a bit happy about that. Looking forward to cutting that tomorrow to see how it turned out. Right, this is where it sits for its Instagram photo. And I will see you for the cutting. Bye. Okay. Welcome back. So, after the disaster of the last soap, I'm looking forward to this. But I, um, I took this inside with me last night so the cockroaches didn't get to the to the um, sugar stuff <laughs> sugar stuff I don't even know what I'm talking about um, and I pulled the sides off the big sides off and had a little look at it and it's definitely discolored so yeah it looks pretty gross I'm hoping it doesn't all do it but I've got a bad feeling that it might oh oh and that's what I've forgotten too there's gold up the side so might not be so bad it's wet okay I don't think they're talking to me I don't know yeah it's there's a lot of fragrance leakage going on here a lot ugh Ugh, a lot, a lot. I can't even move it. It's stuck. Jesus. Now, well, that dead battery timed itself well, didn't it? It didn't do it in the middle of the soap. Now, if I cut this this way, it's going to possibly push them through. Usually they pop off, so um, I'm just going to just go for it and hope that Nothing too big is in the way. All the alpaca are out of the way. Oh, there goes a ball. Oh, there goes an alpaca. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. This is a lot softer than the other one. I like it. It's very leaky. Very leaky. Wow. There is, um, uh, glycerin rivers, which isn't surprising because I used titanium dioxide and also full 
liquid because you can't trust these fragrances to not <laughs> need for liquid. Some of my sugar things have turned to powder, which will happen. All right, so I like it. Don't I, I, I really like it. I hate glycerin rules though. People say, oh, they're pretty, they're rustic. No, they're not. They just look like shit. Sorry, they just look like shit. <laughs> I don't like them. They look like a mistake. This is super wet. I don't know if I can get it to focus in on how wet that actually, look at that, that is just all wet. So this, oh, this has massive, oh Jesus, okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, so we've got a heat tunnel in this, I'll show you on the next piece, because it's way more, you can see it, see here? Oh God, and it just gets worse, wow. Yuck. And it's such a good looking soap. Like this this was a is a beautiful swirl. It's just done some crazy ass things. Righto. That feels disgusting. It's actually slimy. It's so gross. Wow. Ugh. And I know that it's not um like there's no, no measurements were wrong. So, it's def oh my god, it's like literally pouring out the back. It's so, like, it's dribbling. Can you see that? Look there, look. Oh, it's so disgusting. Yep, so there's going to be holes in it, in here. It goes all the way around to the side as well. That one goes actually goes all the way through. It's so disgusting. Oh, I can barely hold it. It's so slimy. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's probably not a... As much as I said that was a beautiful scent, I would not suggest soaping with it because it's done this and that's just... Can, is, is that camera picking that up? There you go. That is either fragrance or she doesn't feel it feel like it feels oily. So I'm gonna guess that it's fragrance. So it could be lye, but my guess is that the fragrance is just like massively leaking out. So yeah, don't use this one. I definitely do not recommend this one. Now, when Aussie Soap Supplies come back, I don't know if they've got new formulas or whatever, but I cannot recommend these fragrances from the fra from what I have here because this is just gross. Like, I mean, if you were, if you were making soaps to sell, which I really, I'm not really making soaps to sell so much anymore, so it doesn't matter if I just have to chuck this in the bin, um, yeah, look at that, look at that, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, but if, you know, if you're a professional doing this and you're making them to sell or if you're doing a wholesale order or whatever, this shit's just not on, so... It still smells nice, I will admit, it still smells nice. Lost another ball. But yeah, it's it's absolutely disgusting. It's just gross, honestly. I'm just really disappointed because it's such a nice design. It's not like anything I've ever done before. Like mint green with a brown and white swirl in the middle is just not something that I would normally do. And it just occurred to me to do it. <laughs> so that's probably about the only piece that I don't really like because the lines aren't perfectly straight. And I actually, you know me, I don't like straight lines. But I liked the straight lines on this. So, but anyway, it is what it is. It's, oh my god. It's actually, oh, the middle, can you see that? You see, you can see that. 
Look at that. It's so soft. It's actually spongy in the middle. Oh. That's disgusting. Yeah, I mean that's that's not that's not proper fragrance oil, guys. Fragrance oil shouldn't behave like that. I mean, you know, here's a company that's supposed to be a leader in the industry, although I'm pretty sure they're the ones that say that, not anybody else. Um, and, and this is, like, I did everything. I soaked cool. I used no water discount. So I did everything that they said to, to do to make their fragrances work. And this is the results you get. Like, that's just not on but i'm sure it's my fault because ask them that will probably tell you it's my fault <sighs> anyway they have it i'm really i'm actually really pissed off about that as, as calm as i sound because like the other one like this one we knew this was going to be bad because it played up but this other one it didn't and the fact that I have to change the way that I soap to get these to work and then when I change the way that I soap to the way they say you should soap and they still don't work that kind of pisses me off like I, I, I'm pissed off enough that I have to change my ways as it is like you shouldn't have to like no other company expects you to soap like a beginner to get their fragrances to work. Anyway, yeah, I'll get I'll just stop because it's just you've heard me rant about this a thousand times already, so I'm just gonna stop. I was gonna make soap today, now I'm just too free and pissed off to do it. So anyway, there's two videos. That's a start. <laughs> it's the last day of the year. I'm just gonna just go inside and watch some Netflix, I think. I might actually take the rest of the day off and um Oh, the clock stopped, so I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I don't even know it was the 31st day. I thought it was the 30th today. It is 5 o'clock. Yes, I may take the rest of the day off and just play a game or something. Just chill out. Alright. So, I guess you'll see you guys in 2021 because that's when this video will come out. And, yeah. And I'm sorry that that was such a failure. Maybe... We'll see what happens. I'm about to try a new um, a new range of um, fragrances, but again, they're ones I cannot recommend, and we'll get into all of that when we get to them because that's a whole other story. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, see you in 2021. Bye.